And I think that they had a very vulnerable relationship. I think they're both as bad as each other. She gave him as good as she There's what goes on behind closed doors, but I have never in 22 years of working with Johnny Depp seen anything that would indicate to me he is anything other than a beautiful human being. London's High Court handed down its hotly anticipated judgment in the high-profile Libel case brought by Hollywood actor Johnny Depp over a newspaper article which labeled him a wife-beater. Celebrities exposing Amber Heard and her rise to fame. Gal Gadot, Jason Momoa, and Amelia Clark. It pretty much went all downhill from there, with the Aquaman star filing for divorce citing irreconcilable differences in 2016. Not only did the actress officially end her marriage, but on May 27th, 2016, she also obtained a temporary restraining order against Johnny Depp. It was then that Amber Heard alleged to the Oscar-nominated actor physically abusing her and that he was also misusing drugs and alcohol. There began a long and tedious battle between the two high-profile celebrities. On May 26th, 2016, Johnny Depp's representatives issued the following statement. Given the brevity of this marriage and the most recent and tragic loss of his mother, Johnny will not respond to any of the salacious false stories, gossip, misinformation, and lies about his personal life. Hopefully, the dissolution of this short marriage will be resolved quickly. This statement appeared as a preparation for what was coming next, as a judge granted Amber Heard's temporary restraining order the day after, which prohibited the actor from getting less than 100 feet close to the 34-year-old actress, as well as prohibiting any contact with her. Everything escalated, to the point where pictures were shared, videos leaked, and seriously damaging statements made. As a matter of fact, TMZ, which was the first news outlet to break the story, released the actress's court statements, including the following. I live in fear that Johnny will return to the residence unannounced to terrorize me, physically and emotionally. Depp's attorney, David Sherborne, asked her, Can you explain why you take exception to Miss Heard's allegations against Depp? James replied, because Miss Heard referred to a conversation we had about me being violently raped at Machete Point in Brazil and she used it as her own story. She referred directly to a violent rape that occurred to me 26 years ago and she twisted it into her own story and she used it for her own use. James also alleged that Heard would send a barrage of drunk text messages between the hours of 2 and 4 in the morning on a regular basis. On an almost daily basis, she described the messages as abusive. We have very, very few texts between you and Miss Heard. Only the ones that Miss Heard has provided to the defendants, Sherborne said. James explained, I was using a phone that was logged into her iCloud account. She added, When she terminated my employment, she deleted all of the texts from the cloud. Only texts that were abusive. She saved the ones that weren't. James was asked about an incident that is said to have occurred in May 2014 on a private jet traveling from Boston to LA, when Depp allegedly kicked Heard in the back. Wasp read a text sent by Heard to James after the alleged incident, which read, I have to leave JD. He's just freaked out on me. He's drinking again. It's bad. Worse than ever. Wasp asked if James remembered the message, to which he replied, Yes, I remember the day very clearly. Trust me. Waz said Heard returned to LA and stayed in a hotel, to which James said, I don't know why because she had an apartment. That apartment was still fully functioning and livable. James added, She went to the Chateau, the hotel, with four of her friends and they basically had a pool party, drinking and swimming and sunbathing and having fun. Earlier in the day, the court heard evidence from Depp's estate manager, Kevin Murphy. He was asked about the defecation incident when feces were found in the couple's bed after Heard's 30th birthday party in April 2016. Murphy said Heard claimed this was just a harmless prank. Kate James, Amber Heard's formal personal assistant, alleged that Heard had appropriated her story of being a sexual violence survivor, giving evidence at London's Royal Courts of Justice on the seventh day of Johnny Depp's Libel trial against the publisher of The Sun newspaper. Depp is suing newsgroup newspapers and journalist Dan Wooton for an article on the Sun website that described him as a wife-beater. Depp denies that he was violent towards Heard, to whom he was married from 2015 to 2017. James, who was Heard's personal assistant from 2012 and 2015, was giving her evidence by video link from Los Angeles. 
Defense attorney Sasha Wass asked if James had been influenced by Mr. Depp and his associates who have encouraged you to give this vicious evidence against Heard. Absolutely not, James said. She added, I'm here for my own reasons. I'm a sexual violence survivor and that's very, very serious to take that stance if you are not one and I am one. That's the reason I'm here, because I take offense. Among the most memorable moments from the trial, Johnny Depp alleged that his ex-wife had defecated in his bed. Meanwhile, Amber Heard accused the actor of throwing a phone at her face, resulting in bruising. Photos from the actress's blackened face were highlighted on many national front pages. Unfortunately for Johnny Depp, Judge Mr. Justice Nicole ruled, three months later, that the Sun was correct in reporting his abuse towards Amber Heard, making it legal for any media in the UK to call him a wife-beater. While continuously denying any domestic violence claims, the actor and his team tried to appeal the court's ruling in November of 2020. This attempt at overturning the initial judge's decision was unsuccessful, and thus, Judge Nicole refused to grant Johnny Depp the permission to appeal against his judgment. As a non-disparagement clause, preventing either party from saying anything negative about their relationship and failed marriage was inserted into the divorce settlement. The story could have ended there. However, in December of 2018, the Never Back Down actress wrote that she was abused in an opinion piece for the Washington Post. Although Amber Heard did not mention her ex-husband's name in the article, it was very clear that she alluded to Johnny Depp. She wrote, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out. This ultimately led to the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory actor suing his ex-wife for $50 million for defamation. Johnny Depp's lawyer stated that Amber Heard's implication that Mr. Depp is a domestic abuser is categorically and demonstrably false. Lost Battle in the UK Nevertheless, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard already faced an extremely high-profile trial last year in the UK. Fast forward to 2018 when the British newspaper The Sun published an article referring to Johnny Depp as a wife-beater. The actor sued the publishing company, News Group Newspapers, as well as The Sun's executive editor, Dan Wooton, for Libel. It wasn't before July 7, 2020, that an intense three-week Libel trial began, where both actors had to travel to London and testify against each other. Once again, pictures were shown, videos were played, and shocking revelations were revealed. However, the fact that Kate exposed Amber is really good for Johnny, as now he is suing newsgroup newspapers and journalist Dan Wooton for an article on the Sun website that described him as a wife-beater. Depp denies that he was violent towards Heard, to whom he was married from 2015 to 2017. Kate gave evidence in support of Depp, and said she had told Heard that she was raped at Machete Point in Brazil about 25 years ago. She said she was shocked to learn that in a witness statement, Heard misrepresented and exploited the incident. She referred directly to a violent rape that occurred to me 26 years ago and she twisted it into her own story and she used it for her own use, Kate James said by video link from Los Angeles. I am a sexual violence survivor and that's very, very serious to take that stance if you are not one, she said. Moreover, People were absolutely furious about Amber Heard's former assistant, Kate James, exposed Amber Heard for stealing her sexual assault story. For so many women struggling from abuse, it was difficult to hear about. That's true that Amber really lied about the fact that Johnny abused her, and the whole world was shocked after Kate James, Amber Heard's formal personal assistant, alleged that Heard had appropriated the story of being a sexual violence survivor giving evidence at London's Royal Courts of Justice on the seventh day of Johnny Depp's Libel trial against the publisher of The Sun newspaper.